Iris, I think we were pretty close. I'm sorry, we? Where have you been the last six months again? Ooh, you're hard. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So in around five weeks' time, we will have San Diego Comic Con, which is always a great time of the year, which will bring forth a ridiculous amount of information, news and trailers, or even just footage for various movies and television shows for the upcoming year, roughly. And of course, that does involve our DC TV shows, and specifically for this video, the Flash Season 5. Now, leading up to Comic-Con, we usually get some information, such as a casting of a new character, whether that be just the announcement of the actor who's playing them, or the actor announcement and the character at the same time. But what we will be going over in today's video is an occurrence that we see happen as well every now and then. So as you can tell by the title, we will be going over some apparent leaked information and details regarding Season 5 of The Flash. Now, I know what most of you are thinking, how legitimate is this information? Well, as soon as anything is leaked or labeled as a leaked, it is hard to take it as legitimate unless it's photographical or with videos and stuff. If it's just like through, you know, words and they're saying this is going to happen, then you can't say, oh, this is 100% true or anything like that. But certain things like entire movie plots and even just plot details around season three of The Flash and season four of Arrow were leaked on places like 4chan and ended up being, for the most part, true. Like 90% of it was true. But yeah, this information is coming from 4chan, like where, you know, some correct leaked details from Flash season three and Arrow season four have been posted in the past. But do take this with a grain of salt. I need to stress that I'm just going over this and giving my thoughts on what's being apparently leaked. I'm not confirming that this is true. But do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below about the various things we go over. So the first uh, leaked piece of information is that Cicada is the first metahuman, an immortal cult leader with healing abilities who can also neutralize other meta's powers and control people's minds. He is determined to purge the world of metas and turn Central City against the Flash. Now, this is actually a pretty interesting piece of information. Not all of it, as most of it was revealed in the character description that we saw a few weeks back from now. But that first part where it says Cicada is the first metahuman. Now, this isn't saying that he is just the first meta for the season from whatever source of metahumans we are getting uh, for season five. He is the first meta ever by what's being said here. And this will come back into play in a later piece of information that we dive into. But this first piece, if I had to say whether it was legitimate or not, like, you know, decide between the two, you know, I would say it's legitimate in my eyes. This is something that I can actually see happening. The next piece of info is that Cicada targets people that were touched by the Flash, leading to the return of characters like Jay Garrick, Linda Park, Tina McGee, General Wade Eiling, Weather Wizard, Mirror Master, Top, and Grodd. Now, this is very similar to the comics in which Cicada targets and kills people that were saved by the Flash who at the time was actually Wally West. However, some of the names listed here just make me think, yeah, this just seems a bit out there. Like if the names were a bit more, you know, a bit slimmed, like it was a slimmed down uh, amount of names there and they were a bit, you know, familiar to the show, like they occurred more, or, you know, showed up more, then I would believe it. But names such as General Eiling and even Linda Park, who I, you know, would be surprised if they ever showed back up, just due to the fact that they just disappeared from the show fairly quickly. But the rest of those could show up. I could see Top showing up again, Mirror Master, Weathered Wizard, uh, Tina McGee, Jay Garrick, obviously. I can see all of them showing up, but the others, not too sure about them. So due to the fact that there's other people like Linda Park and General Eiling were dropped in there, not confident on that one. The next piece of info is that Nora is called Rewind and comes from a future where Barry's disappearance in the crisis led to war between humans and metas, which she hopes to prevent. She is chased by a time-traveling bounty hunter known as Pursuit, who turns out to be her estranged brother and Barry's son. Now, in Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, it was established that in 2021, there was an anti-metahuman act, which was a new restriction where it was illegal to actually be a metahuman. So metahumans were captured and placed within Argus holding facilities, where they were then placed Placed under a series of experiments and tortured and stuff like that. However, in that episode, the legends promised to prevent this from occurring, so that could happen. It was never like started in 2021, but then in 2024, the events played out in that in like what the leak is saying, and they would occur. In regards to Nora's name being rewind, that wouldn't be too surprising, as the end of season four could have been you know them giving us a huge hint by us actually seeing everything you know, rewind and then going forward again. And as to the whole Nora brother situation, you know, that bringing a time traveling bounty hunter known as Pursuit, this is something that would be very flash. Like it would be something that the show would do. However, this does feel like it could be just replacing Black Flash and the Time Wraiths, 
which to me is a bit lazy and just a bit inconsistent. Pursuit is probably going to be their take on Hot Pursuit from the comics, who is Barry Allen as well as Patty Spiv at different, at different points, might I say. But similar to the last one we went over, I'm just a bit unsure on this one, as it does, you know, some of it sounds sim uh, realistic and that it could happen, while some of it doesn't. So I can't say that this is legitimate in my eyes. And next up, we have Iris Befriends Sue, a quirky vlogger who wants her help in a project and intensively dislikes Ralph at first. Now, this Sue would obviously be the future Sue Dibney, as you can tell from the surname, who is, you know, in the comics, the wife, of, uh, the wife, not the wife, the wife of Ralph Dibney. Now, with Ralph being made a series regular for season five, uh, him and uh, Cecile have been upgraded to season regulars. Cecile, I'm a bit iffy about, like, what's going on there? But anyway... Uh, with Ralph, I think it would be a missed opportunity to not have Sue introduced. Like, to me, she is at the level as, your, like, your Lois Lane, your Iris West, and other, you know, close halves like that. The fact that she is a quirky vlogger is interesting. Like, is she going to be a YouTuber or something? Like, what's going on there? That would be interesting. Now, Iris needs friends on the show as well. Like, everyone on Team Flash is Barry's mates. They're not Iris's. Since the departure of, like, Linda Park, Iris has hung out with, like, no one. Like, who the hell did she invite to her wedding? So, it would be good to see her have a friend, especially one that could be connected to her blogging and journalism stuff, like a vlogger such as Sue. This sounds like it would be something that we would see happen on the show, so I would swing to the legitimate side for this one. Next up is, Cisco develops a relationship with Joe's partner, Valerie, a fiery Latina with a scientific background. And in regards to this one, I mean, Cisco and Gypsy did break up, so Cisco might be ready to move on. Like, this is going to be, like, hard half a year, I guess, after the events of season four. So I guess this could happen. The next piece of info is that Caitlin reunites with her long lost father, Thomas, a scientist connected to Cicada and finds out she has a metahuman brother, Charlie, who becomes Icicle. Now, this is something along the lines of what many thought would go down, but what I was referring to earlier on in the video in regards to Cicada and him being the first metahuman, this is that connection. As it says, Caitlin's father, Thomas, is connected to Cicada. So what if Thomas created him along with Killer Frost, and then, of course, the other side of her brother, Charlie, that being Icicle? In the character description for Cicada, it did say that he had a mysterious interaction with Dark Matter, so maybe Caitlin's father was working with Dark Matter, all the way back then, and it, you know, affected Caitlyn as well, and also Charlie to become Icicle. Now, this is one thing I'm looking forward to the most next season. The, the origin of Killer Frost, apart from Barry and his story, this should be like the thing people are most excited for after that. Uh, hopefully it has done well. For the most part, I can see this happening, so I will give it a legitimate mark. The only part I'm a bit iffy about is maybe Charlie, because I don't know if they would do that, but then again, they might. Up next is the new Wells is a gruff military operator. Now we know we will be getting a new Harrison Wells in season five and it would be good to see him be like a bit different from Harry as we have, you know, dealt with him for a while. So this could happen, I guess he's a bit different. The next piece of info is that the new villains include Dr. Destiny, Blockbuster, Brainwave, Copperhead, Damage, Jin, Ragdoll and Shadow Faith, among others. So most of these, if not all, would be a result of the new source for the meta powers, which, as I have said in a few videos, I believe to be dark matter from the satellite incident that, you know, crashed down on Central City that Barry and Nora destroyed. Out of these villains, Dr. Destiny would be interesting. His powers are basically like the reality stone from Infinity War. So it would be interesting to see how the Flash show portrays that. The second last piece of information is that Eobard Thorne will return for a multi-episode story arc centered on Barry's children in the second half of the season, played by both Tom Kavanagh and Matt Letcher. Now, seeing that we will be dealing with Nora from the future, you would think we would also get some reverse Flash action or some references to him. However, every season there are rumors and leaks, whether that is through 4chan, Reddit, or Twitter and other social media, about reverse Flash coming back you know, in an arc on the show, and, well, it never happens. So I'm not too sure about this one. It would be really cool to happen and see go down, but, yeah, I can't really side with this one because every single season we get a rumor about this. And the last piece of information from this big leak of the Flash Season 5 stuff is that Mark Pellegrino from Supernatural has apparently been approached for Cicada. Now, this is something that I could actually see happening for sure, and the main reason for that is that he is connected to the CW already, and CW tends to hire within the CW. So he plays Lucifer on Supernatural, and he was also Alex Standall's dad on 13 Reasons Why, so some, if not most of you, should be familiar with him. I think he could fit the role, so due to the reasons 
reasons I listed. They might not be 13 reasons, but I could actually see this happening. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show support as we make our way to 200,000 subscribers. I forgot to say thank you for 190,000 subscribers at the beginning of this video, but insane we've hit that and I can't wait to get to 200,000, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, leave all of your opinions in the comments section down below about the various leaks we've gone over. Which one do you, uh, which ones, sorry, do you think sound legitimate and which ones do you just sound like, do you think sound like just too out there and won't happen? Let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.